Hello, fellow collectors. Today we'll be talking about Batman from Batman the White Knight Red Edition. So, as we see here, we have the White Knight Batman version, but it is all done in red. If we look at the card, we see that he falls down while we're looking at the card, so you can't see the magic happen in the back. And we see the artwork from the box. And we have some words about the Dark Knight. Please pause and read. So we see that this figure comes with a couple of accessories. The first we'll take a look at is his Batarang and or on a rope. The next one we'll take a look at is the rope itself. Extended out. And then we'll take a look and see his grapple gun. So if we pull this guy in closer, we'll see he does on his side of his belt have a place for the rope to go. Can just attach it there. You notice that this one also has a knife here that will just touch his rib cage whenever you bend him down normal. We see this scowling, disapproving face from the White Knight or the Dark Knight, and we have this cape here that has these edges and is a soft rubber and does attach to his back up here that does drape around his shoulders and attaches also up here now we have this different looking batman chest and we have these gloves that are in the same color as the cape and also these leg boots that go all the way up and they are the same cape color as the cape we see we have these spikes also here on that, and we need to have a little bit of paint up right here, but everything else is in the same color. Now, as far as articulation goes, this guy can look up, down a little bit, and can struggle to look left and right. Now, as far as the cape goes, it does get in the way a little bit. But as you can see there, when I pulled it down, it did pop down a little bit to allow for a nice T-pose. Now, it does have rotation all the way around. It does have a bicep swivel and one bend at the elbow. And you can see it hit those, those sprockets right there. And... We look at to see that his glove does rotate around. Now he does have on a tilly belt, so let's get that out of the way. But he can do a pretty good ab crunch. And as far as the waist swivel goes, the belt does get away a little bit, but you can still get okay movement. Now, as far as split ability goes, he gives, does a nice split. And there's the forward and back. We notice he does have a double knee and has a ball joint. So he can do all sorts of movements with it. And he has a pin in the toesies. Now as I straighten this guy up and get him back on his stand. I will grab my tape measure and see that this guy does come in right at seven and one eighth of an inch. So as far as other figures go, he does fit in nicely with Batman Rebirth here. As you can see, they are the same height, so it does fit in with them and he will be a little bit taller than a stormtrooper or a marvel legends line he 
He does not like his stand. <sighs> the joys. All right. So, if you are a Dark Knight fan or a Batman fan or a DC fan, whichever one you might be, you will definitely like this. And if you have read the the story, you'll know the premise of this guy and and what that card really meant by the Joker and taking a reform and everything like that. So if you do get a chance, definitely worth the pickup. And uh, you might even be able to pose them throwing the Batarang better than I can right now because he wants to keep popping it out of that finger. But until next time, guys, remember, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.